man of the match, trust a Kong. And we told him yesterday, or we predicted he will be man of the match. So, William, tell us what does it mean to you, being man of the match? Uh, yeah, first of all, thank you. Um, I think your good luck wishes yesterday made a difference, so hopefully every game you can tell me now that it's going to happen. Um, first and foremost, I'm very happy for the team. Uh, we said before the game we wanted to do something special. We wanted to get three out of three wins and to really make a statement in the tournament so far. Um, so yeah, I'm really proud of the boys. I think everybody performed exceptionally well. It wasn't easy with eight changes and uh, all the boys who came in, I think they showed that they deserve to play as well. Um, and that's probably the biggest message from, from today's game. Um, so yeah, I'm very content. Any questions? Yes, sir. Please, the mic here. Hi, Trust. Congratulations for the Man of, Man of the Match Award. You talked about making a statement. Um, on an individual level, you're making a big statement so far, putting up beautiful performances, match to match. Uh, before this tournament, you went on that heavy criticism, and of course, we saw that you deleted your social media account, perhaps to focus. Um, what, has, what, what does this, what does your performances in this tournament, what does it mean to you? And do you feel like it's more or less a vindication for you? Thank you for the question. Um, yeah, I want to try and keep it about the team as much as I can today. So, um, yeah, of course, I'm very happy uh, that I've managed to contribute as much as I can so far. Uh, I think that's the beauty about football. Um, I think you can give the best answers on the pitch. So, yeah, in November, December, um, I was criticised, and that's normal. I mean, that's your job. So, you guys here are all here to say what you think about the games. And um, for us, it's always a, a key to try and improve every time. I'm not perfect, and of course, you make mistakes. Uh, but I think the biggest thing is that you want to improve all the time. So, I'm very happy that the, the coach, uh, the coaching crew, gave me the confidence again to play. And um, yeah, I'm trying to pay them back for that. But uh, more important, um, I think it's about the team. And I think the confidence in the team is growing because I think it's not just only me. Before the tournament started, there was a lot of question marks about Nigeria's chances. And um, I feel we have enjoyed the position as an on underdog. And um, yeah, we're just taking game by game. And I think we're doing a lot of talking on the pitch now. We'll take one more question. Yes, sir. Félicitations, euh, trois secondes, les GTN tu es Africa Full United. La question est, est la suivante. Vous terminez le premier tour sans encaisser de but et vous êtes le symbole euh, de votre défense. Qu'est-ce qui peut expliquer cette solidité euh, défensive des de Super Eagles Est-ce que vous visez euh, le titre de meilleure défense du tournoi Merci. Je n'étais pas focus sur votre question, je suis désolé. Ils ont dit, please. Oui, yeah. mon French n'est pas parfait, donc je suis désolé, les gars. Yes. I just need someone to repeat the question for me so I can understand that. Yeah. La question est la suivante. Vous avez vous êtes le symbole d'une défense qui a terminé le premier tour sans encaisser de but. Est-ce que c'était un objectif pour vous? Est-ce que vous visez terminer ce tournoi sans prendre de but? C'est-à-dire terminer comme la meilleure défense du tournoi? Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think we conceded one game in the pre uh, one goal in the previous game uh, with a penalty, uh, which I thought was a bit unlucky. But I think uh, the beauty about the tournament now with the VAR is that we can sometimes have it in our decision, like today with my goal and the other games it will go against us. Um, but I think yeah, the team wanted to give uh, the defense, especially uh, wanted to give the the boys up front a good chance to win it. And I think the best way you can do that is try and keep the zero and concede as less as possible. Uh, but it's a team effort because I think all the boys up front um, working very hard as well to stop the balls, the service to us. 
Um, so yeah, I think that's the key thing. We really try and defend together and also attack together. So yeah, all the things the defenders are trying to contribute as well with some goals here and there, and all the attackers and midfielders are working very hard to give us as least as possible to do. Please be seated, sir. <coughs> Okay, we'll start. Congratulations, sir. Uh, Congrat just give us a statement. Thank you very much. Uh, about the, this game and the result and qualifying, of course, to the next stage. Thank you very much, everyone in the house. Um, exciting game. I expected, or we expected, a tough game. Because uh, the Gibbon is our team is not a pushover. Very solid. Physically, very, very, very strong. Technically, also. So they are... Uh, give us a run for our money. By the end of the day, we were able to get those two goals to cancel it, and then uh, we're very satisfied with the performance. Uh, but most credits will go to the players for executing what we told them to do. Nine points at the back. Thank you. Okay, questions? Okay, the, the gentleman at the back. Okay. Coach, un carton bleu. Et maintenant, après ce carton plein, quelles sont les stratégies que vous allez déployer maintenant pour le reste de la compétition Puisqu'au début, le Nigeria n'était pas classé parmi donc les équipes favorites. Et en ce moment, le Nigeria, c'est la superbe équipe de la compétition. Qu'est-ce que vous en dites Yes, uh, <clears throat> a lot of people felt or thought that Nigeria is not good enough to win a tournament. Um, simple reason, because of our performance in the past few months. But again, it's the same sample of players who performed brilliantly well uh, prior to the, um, the AFCOM last one in Egypt and also the World Cup in Russia. But all of a sudden, things didn't go where it's supposed to, to go. But for, for some reason, uh, that's why people are trying to write Nigeria off. From the first game, nobody gave us a chance. We came and we did the job collectively. Again, I will not stop praising the players because um, I told them to express themselves, be committed. You don't have any other country to play for. It's only Nigeria. And we know how passionate our people are when it comes to football. And then that game was gone. We had to put it behind us and then focus on the next game. For it to beat Sudan, put it behind us and then focus on the next game. Now, people are thinking and start to respect Nigeria. But that does not mean to get into our head. We will always respect our opponent. We will play them with full strength. We will play them the way we play against anybody. Because if you see today's game, like I said before, Guinea Bissau is a very, very strong team. There are no pushovers at all. Yeah, going to the next uh, round of 16, we don't know the opponent yet. Hopefully, we'll find out tonight or tomorrow. Same approach, same system, same aggression. And we're going to train more on penalties. Okay, we take, sir, sorry. Here, the yellow shirt, the yellow shirt. Coach, uh, you are the only coach in the history of Nigerian football to have uh, amassed maximum points in group stage in 2006 and this time around. Coming into this tournament, we, like you just said, highly underrated, nobody expected anything from us. But somehow, you've changed this team mentality and the style of play, the formation and all that. Coach, what did you say to your players before the first game at Al Pontina? And one player that people were still a little bit downside about is Umar. How did you get him to be this committed? My name is Idafi Matthew from Atlas Sports. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> football is uh, a profession, and when you choose to do a job, you have to do it to maximum um, mind. You know, you put in your best because that's what puts food on the table. And coming to a national team also, you know, is an added advantage. It's always a privilege. It's not a right. So when you have a chance to represent your country, you have to do it. You have to because we have a whole lot of talented football players out there who are looking for the opportunity. So opportunity comes your way, do not let it slip. I think that's the only, the only difference. It's just attitude, a little just style of play also. Give freedom to players to move, but, but provided we're not out of shape. Once we're in shape, feel very free to go play any position on the field of play. So any player who couldn't play more than one position cannot play for us. So that's, that's, what, that's what we're trying to do. 
and Omar Sadiq, yes. Um, I kept talking to him because he's a player who has played for Roma. Now he's in Spain, he's scoring goals. And the first two games he came in, couldn't really find his feet for whatever reason. I think because he's, he's um, just coming to a big tournament, maybe it was too big. But however, I think he's performed well. And we just wanted to start him today to see how he react, not to come in. And I think he did very well as well, sir. All right, coach. Uh, my name is Jovita. Just, I want to. Okay. Just a second. Just a second. Uh, the technician here in the in the hall. Can you please uh, reduce the sound there? Because. Okay. Yes, la the lady here. Yes. Uh, coach, I want to ask. Um, we noticed that you rested a, a couple of players and uh, you need used uh, some new guys. How impressed are you by their performance and uh, what are your plans for them moving forward as Nigeria enters the round of 16? Yes, we, we had to give some players some rest. It was necessary. And to now see the ones that I haven't played at all, to see how they can fare when it comes to a competitive game and, of course, a massive tournament like this. You know, Nigerian football, I say Nigerian football, African football has really improved because I, I saw a whole lot of things and the non boundary is a pushover. And um, to, to fit belong as well, as, you know, it's qualified with six points, but we still have a job to do, but give an opportunity because anyone that is called upon in this team to play will always perform. So bringing them in was not a problem at all. Okay, the gentleman here. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Emmanuel. I'm sorry, but uh, I, I just need the technician. You see. I'm sorry. Okay. The sound. They, they have to reduce the sound. Okay. Go ahead. Then All right. Uh, Emmanuel, Lesim, congratulations again, coach. Um, and you started the fixture with your jacket on. 25 minutes, you took it off. I'm concerned. Was it the heat or it was just the performance of the players that made you confused? Thank you. No, I wasn't confused at all. You know, uh, first 15 minutes, we were all over there. And that was when I even took the jacket off. Because... Um, I actually don't want to put a jacket on. I thought it was going to be cold but it was actually a bit hot. So it just had to do with weather. That's why I took it off. No tension at all. Okay, the gentleman there and then the lady. Bonsoir, Achille Kamga pour la télévision Equinox. Alors, coach, uh, quand on nous a dit qu'on devrait couvrir la compétition ici à Garoua, nous avons checké un peu les équipes. Je me souviens avoir fait un article où uh, j'ai lu J'ai dit Augustin de Guavon appelé en dernier renfort pour euh, conduire euh, le Nigeria euh, à la Cannes. Maintenant, après trois matchs et vu le développement de votre jeu, est-ce qu'on peut dire qu'il y a la touche de Guavon dans cette équipe Si d'aventure vous remportez cette Cannes, est-ce qu'on dira que c'est l'équipe de Guavon ou c'est l'équipe de la continuité du prédécesseur Vous comprendrez que les gens diront que c'est votre équipe ou alors, comme je le dis, vous avez simplement pris le train en marche. Merci. I've actually been waiting for this question. I was saving this in for the, hopefully the finals. But there is no way, there is no way we're not going to give Gennett Rock credit. Because he's, uh, he's the one who put this team together. And the only additions, I think, we still have about inherited a team of about 98% of the team Gennett Rock put together. So there's no way we're going to leave Gennett Rock out of this. He did a good job assembling these boys, but it's quite unfortunate what has happened. And if we win the African Cup of Nations, it's to everyone, not just me alone. Thank okay, you. last question, the lady here. Uh, my name is Jane Francis from Solid FM, Enigma, Nigeria. Coach, my question is, you've you know, talked about the fact that anyone you bring from the bench um, would perform as the people who have started this tournament. But so far, we've seen a great Super Eagles, but I don't think that we've seen a perfect Super Eagles um, are you still, is this team still a work in progress or um, are you ready to launch for maybe the title at this point? It depends on what you mean with the perfect Super Eagles. 
We have to beat Team 6 nil before you say we're perfect. I don't know. I mean, it's a tournament. Three points is more important than, than winning with a wide margin. And mind you, it's a tournament, and everybody's come here to fight. Um, if you watch the game very well today, Guinea Bissau didn't come close to our goal in the first 15 minutes. We were all over them. I understand you because I think you want to see us blowing up team with 6 0. Maybe it will come, maybe it will not, but just pray that we win every game. It's 1 0, it's enough. Coach Augustine, uh, congratulations and thank you.